Hi guys, welcome back to the Little Card. So this week we'll be doing a very interesting video that I have never done before. So we'll be doing a full face full of Jivani makeup. Right, so it's going to be a long video. It's going to be like a very chatty one. So you can like get your drink, your coffee, bubble tea, or like donut, whatever. And then get ready for a very long video because I already know this is going to be very long. Let's go. So before we actually start with anything, we have to not have like a clean day. So I'm going to actually go and remove my makeup first. I'm sorry if you can hear like the construction noise going on like over there. Um, yeah, this is going to be. It's going to happen like every once in a while. I'm going to try to not talk when there's like that noise, but you know, like sometimes, like if I can't, just like bear with it. Okay. Just to give you like a little background before I actually start the video, I actually um, used a few of Jibani's product before, but I haven't used all, so uh, I'm going to try to use those that I have never used so that I can, you know, like give like my first impression okay, so before like doing makeup i would always 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 put sunblock first sunblock is very 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 important even if uh, your base like bb cream concealer foundation actually contains cpf so even if your base like bb cream concealer foundation um, have SPF even if it's like 50 plus it's always best to put on a sunscreen before you actually put on your base okay, so I'm going to put like this um, Jivani Power Lasting Sunblock this is the first time that I've used so apparently it's uh, it protects um, like UVA and UVB so if you don't know there's two kind of um, UV rays By the way, I have like a mirror in front of me So if I'm not looking at a viewfinder It's because I'm looking at the mirror So, I mean, you can just put as many as you want I mean, does it really hurt to put more SPF? So it doesn't really smell like the normal chemical smell that every sunscreen does you know that really annoying smell like the very chemical type smell that every sunscreen have this doesn't really have and as I'm tapping it out right it doesn't really give me like a white cast which is always good because like why do you want like you to like look like a ghost I mean I don't think anyone do like a ghost it's very like blendable. Apparently, this is a soothing lip type with blueberry extract. Mm. Yeah, like no wonder it doesn't have like the the normal like chemical um sunscreen smell. Okay, so I'm done for sunblock. Um, yeah, it certainly doesn't give me like any. Yeah, white cast. It just sort of like blended into my skin perfectly. At first, when you squeeze it out of the tip, right, there's um, it looks like really white and just like really like creamy consistency. I'm done. I like this. I really like this. So for my next step will be my base. So for base, I have two options. I have the Givenchy Milchak Chiffon Cushion. Or I have the Jibani Milchak Cover Cushion. So I think I'm going to go with the Chiffon option because this um the Chiffon Cushion is actually more lightweight as compared to the Cover Cushion. I like my like cushion to be um lightweight and not so heavy. Maybe like I just need like maximum medium coverage and I don't need like a lot of um coverage. So I've never really like used um 
cushion before because I actually find that all the other like um cushions are doesn't really like suit um my skin. So I'm just gonna put that bit. Mm -hmm. Actually, I really like the idea of cushion because um you don't need to use your hand. You know what I mean? Like there is no like hand contact to like um your base, so it's always gonna be clean. But of course, you have to like um change the pile every like once in a while, which I mean it's quite troublesome. But I guess for like the hygiene and to not get like bacteria contamination, it's ideal. Okay, I'm gonna do like half of my face first. Uh, this is definitely like the coverage that I prefer. Like you know, it's not too heavy, but it gives you exactly what you need. Yeah. So, so I've done half my face. Like you can definitely tell that it helps to like tone and brighten up your skin tone. Definitely, I can tell. Like even in the mirror, in the viewfinder, I can also tell. So yeah. Oh my god, I quite like it actually. It's quite easy to blend. And I think the color suits me just right. I'm in the shade um zero two, natural skin. So yeah, this is actually not bad. I quite like it. My travel areas is here. Like I will have like red spots. So. What I've learned from watching like a few um Korean like YouTubers, like beauty YouTubers, is they actually fold their sponge in half like this, and then they just like dip it into like that, so like you get a bit of it, and then like you squeeze here right, and then just like go in. Like it just like it fits this area perfectly, so it can like hide the redness. Color is more like uniform. I just realized something. I forgot to do primer. Oh my god. See, like this is the. Like, this is why my like skincare routine or like makeup routine is always very different because I always forget to do stuff. Like if there, like if there's too much like steps for me, I can never ever remember it. Like it's impossible for me to have like the Korean like ten step skincare routine because I will always forget about it. Oh my god. But I have tried the primer before and I really really like it. It's um a hydrating. It's like a mousse boosting. It's like a moisture boosting um primer, and I definitely like it. It's it's just that I prefer like my primer to be uh, more like mattifying and like pore filling uh, instead of like moisture boosting. But if that is what like what you are looking for, uh, it's definitely worth like a try. It's actually quite good as well. Yeah. But just like I can't believe I forgot about primer. So I think I have like blend it in quite well. I think at first when you see it definitely like look a bit um cooler than my actual skin tone but like once you really like continue to blend it in it's actually not that pure I'm done. Uh normally I don't like use any loose powder to set this makeup but since I'm doing like a first like impression kind of thing. I'm gonna use the Givenchy Milk Chart Finish Powder Pack. This has SPF as well. It comes with like half and okay, like a lid for powder, which is good. It's very sanitary. I love it. So I'm gonna try this. Just like tap it a few times and then like 
go in to set so I'm gonna like try to set like the areas where I will get oily first or my makeup then to come off first so normally that's like under eyes under eyes is very important so like it won't like crease I think it like I'm like quite a first and first like the so basically I'm very oily face kind of person so I'm gonna do like my forehead to basically my whole face uh, my whole face like it's like an oil factory or oil production factory or something it's just like oh my god it's quite bad I used to have like combination skin but I think as I grew older um my I think my hormones like changed or something I don't know how like I became a fully oily person but thank god I wasn't um, I didn't have like very oily face when I was in secondary school because in secondary school you can't put makeup right so like imagine if like I just go to school then my whole head just like my whole forehead I just like shining just like but I definitely have like the shining forehead moment which brings me to another tip that I learned from Korean like guru like beauty gurus is to like you have to like do here because here is what like gets like oily first right because it's so close your hairline especially if you have oily hair this part which is also me so like this part will get like oily quite far so like you have to like magnify it so that's what I'll do yeah so once I do my nose I'm gonna do like the chin first impression and definitely does like help to like just like set everything oh my god Actually, I'm quite impressed by this uh, powder. Like, I think it just like makes my skin like look more flawless, look more put together. Yeah, I think definitely like mattified it as well, which is always great. Also, this has like SPF twenty five. Right? It's not a lot, but I think like um during the afternoon or on the go, want to like touch up. This has SPF as well, so it's really good. Because like normally the SPF just like wears off within really, like what two hours, and especially in Singapore when you like sweat and if your um sunscreen is not waterproof, your sunscreen will come off in the sweat as well. Yeah, I'm gonna do my brows. Um, unfortunately, very sadly, Giovanni doesn't have any brow products, so I'm gonna use my own. So currently, I'm very obsessed with these two brown products the thing about me and like makeup obsession is that once I'm, I really like something I'll just like continue to use it and I won't like go explore into other areas so basically I have been using the Etude House one and this like um, Essence one for about a year and all I've been doing is just to like buy like to like refill this and I don't even like need to go and go out and look for brow products anymore but the thing about this like at your house um what brow thin my thin my four tip brow is that it has like a very weird um tint like color to it it has like a green green color Tip for you guys, if you like the brain spoolie, right? Just like use the like, cotton thread, try and like, blend it out. I think it looks like okay, acceptable, not my best, but I think it looks decent. Okay, nobody is going to like go and analyze your brows unless they look very, very, very different. So, I think I'm going to go in with the essence one. Because I look fine. Okay, so I'm gonna do blush. Um, Jimani also don't have blush. I'm gonna use my own blush. It's from Industry. It's the one that I've been, I've been using like for the past few videos. I, I get really like obsessed with one product, and I just like that one product forever. Basically, I won't like ever. I mean for blush, um, I have quite a lot of blush because I don't know, I have like a blush problem like you know like some people collect a lot of like lip tints or lipstick which is also me by the way 
I have a lot of lipsticks. I don't have a lot of blush, but I think it's definitely more than what a normal human being can start, okay? I'm just like blend 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 and like done finish. Next will be lipstick and oh my god. So I can't even tell you how many like lipstick product I have in front of me. There's a lot. Jimmy has a lot a lot a lot option for lipsticks. There's like um an actual like lipstick form, there's like a um, melting one and then there's velvet one and then in this kind of uh, liquid lip, there's like power matte or you want a velvet lip mousse I'm gonna go with the velvet lip mousse, I'm really curious um, like what's the finish and how it actually feels I don't really like a matte liquid lip because I mean it stays on the lip all day which is great but it's really drying and for me I already have like dry lips so I think like the velvet one definitely is very good because it stays and it also uh, doesn't dry out your lips basically yeah. I'm trying to go with like a red colour or an orange colour I think I'm going to go with orange I've been quite obsessed with orange shades lately I just feel like it matches my skin tone very well like kind of like coral but um, like brighter so I'm going to use um, the shade or um, Trip Orange in number 3 it's the Giovanni All Day Velvet Lip Mousse so oh I don't like the smell it's a it smells like candy but the chemical Kind of candy, it doesn't make sense. Oh, it feels it's quite watery. Wow. I'm gonna blend out with my fingers. I accidentally tasted some when I was like smacking my lips. It definitely feels like quite watery, like the consistency is kind of watery um, I don't hate it, but I don't love it Firstly, the fragrance is kind of weird I don't, it's really like quite kind of chemical like smell And it's quite strong But I guess if you don't mind then it's fine The texture is kind of interesting. It feels like um so at first when you apply it, it's kind of watery, but once you actually like once it actually dries down, it's um it doesn't feel dry but it doesn't feel like it's setting so it kind of feels similar to the Innisfree um velvet cotton tin tin too. It just have this like very smooth um, velvet texture I think the colour is obviously very pretty It just like instantly brightens up your face as well It just gives like some colour to it uh, I just really love this kind of like orangey colour Because obviously it suits like my skin tone very well So yeah It is very pretty Okay so next I'm going to do Seven hours later. Um, I think I'm gonna do eyeliner first. Normally I don't like really do like my eyeliner I usually use just like eyeshadow and then like um a sharp brush to just like draw a line and that's like that's it. But since I'm doing this like first impression video, I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the Giovanni Sensitive Perfect brush liner. So I'm just going to like shake it. So this like um is it what you call a sharp tip? I don't know. I'm not like really educated in eyeliners because I'm not just like my eye shape is very hard to draw like actually like an actual like wing. Somehow my like um what is it called? Uh, the eyelid is quite uneven. So I'm just like so how I usually draw is just to tilt my head 
and then just like follow the shape of my eyes. So I'm just gonna draw like the end over here. Yeah, so I've drawn like this side. There's definitely like a learning curve to it. So this is just like my liner, I'm done. I feel like um normally I like to use brown because it's a bit like softer, but since you know I'm like way out of my comfort zone, I might as well just go like all out. So I'm using I use like the black um color and I don't know. I feel like it's quite hard to control, especially when I'm not used to um, having like a felt tip one. I think if you are a beginner, um, maybe like a crayon will do much better so that it's easier for you to control. But this definitely can just like draw a very thin line. So if you just want to like have, you know, like, like me, you just want to have like, you know, like a little bit of definition towards the end to emphasize like my eye shape, this is actually very good for you if you are like those experienced. You know, like you've used a lot of eyeliner before and it's definitely good so like because you can draw very like specific um lines that you want so next i'm really going to use mascara um i'm going to use like the volume and the lengthening one simply because i need both i have the typical asian eyelashes so i'm going to use the volume one first to give it like that pump this is actually perfect for my Asian lashes because it's very small. Look at the wall, it's so small and so tiny. I can immediately tell that it helps to like um like give my eyelashes like a curl and I didn't even use um eyelash curler before this. I don't know if you guys ever experienced this. Um uh, when actually like when I curl my lashes with eyelash curler, I will always um also like when you clip right i will clip my eyelids as well which is really painful if you have ever experienced it before so i really hate curling my lashes and i would try not if i can get away with not curling i wouldn't but my asian lashes can't hold like even if this gives me like volume my asian lashes can't hold it for much longer so i normally don't use mascara at all. So next, I'm going to use the lengthening one. Everyone has that ugly apply mascara face. It's just like, like that face of um, focus. I love that with this like tiny wand, you can get right into the roots of my eyelash because um, with like most um, US or like uh, American like those other mascara basically it, the one is so thick that I can't like properly get into the roots and then because like the easiest like way to like volumize or lengthen is to just like go like you know the zigzag motion and a lot of them the ones are too thick for me to get into my roots so I can't actually like do like the zigzag motion so most of the time, if I have to apply like mascara, it will only like um, be at the tip, yeah. Which is why the mascara also droop because um, the the roots have like no support basically. So yeah, and the tip is too heavy, so it will like fall down. I think we are done. Wow. Okay. This is my final look for first impressions of the Jewelry makeup uh, I quite like it oh my god I think I think the one that I like the most is um, this is the finish powder pack because I feel like if you have um, decent skin and you don't need really need a lot of coverage you can just like use this and we are ready to go. Some of this has like a uh, very like uh, flawless, like flawless um, finish to it. 
I think my second favorite has to be the lip mousse that I use. I think the color is really like very vibrant. Yeah, and it feels like it was just like a stain. But I'm gonna do like a test. I'm gonna do like a blotting test. Huh? Ew. This is actually not bad. Wow. I'm impressed. I think this will really stay on and stain your lips. I really love those that will actually stain your lips because then you don't have to like keep applying, which is very annoying if you like you're outside and you touch up. So that's it for my full face first impression of Givenchy makeup. And I hope you really like it because I really like like the final product. I didn't think that I would like love all the products. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. If there's anything that you want to watch, please comment down below. Subscribe, hit the bell button, comment down below, and I'll see you next week. Bye!